Hey Bay, where are you right now? Are you on your way home or still at work? No, I'm stuck in a meeting with a big shot client. What's up? Is everything okay? Well, my mom just popped by our place and she cooked us some delicious food. But I was so hungry, I ate it all. So you'll have to find something to eat on your own. What? Are you serious? Your mom is coming again? Hey, what's with the attitude? What do you mean again? Mom can come over whenever she wants. Cut it out. Don't get in the way of us being one big happy family. One big happy family? This is still my house, you know. I had a long day today. I just wanted to come home, whip up something quick and hit the sack. Wow, you're being really selfish right now. Selfish? I think you're the one being selfish, Brayden. Why does your mom have to visit us four times a week anyway? She's been here since last weekend, and she's staying until this weekend, right? Yeah, so what? It's awesome! I work full time, and sometimes I have to deal with a lot of stress. All I ask for is some peace and quiet when I get home, and maybe some privacy on the weekends. That's not too much to ask for. What are you talking about? Mommy is already 60 years old. I know she may not look that old, but she is still 60. Well, actually, she does look 60, if you ask me. How dare you say that? Anyway, I just want to live with my mom. But you're being so stubborn and refuse to move in with us. That's why I'll never tell my mom to stop coming over. And you can't tell her that either. What are you going on about? Your mom visiting us is fine. I don't mind that. But when she comes on weekdays, I can't cook anything I like. And when I have a day off on the weekends, she complains that I don't clean the house or do any other chores. I have no time for myself. I can't even breathe. I just need some space sometimes. Well, that's your job as a housewife. That's what you should be doing. Don't act like a spoiled brat. If you don't have any time to make dinner during the week, that's your own fault. Don't you realize my mommy is coming over to help you out? You don't even realize you need that help, do you? How incompetent. No, that's not it. You just want her here so she can do your laundry and dishes. Isn't that right? You know, you work as a temp and only go to the office three or four times a week. You work fewer hours than I do right now. If you can do the chores, why don't you just do them yourself? You have the time. You should quit your job and be a housewife. You shouldn't have such a career-oriented mindset. That's what mommy says. She told me that herself. She also said you're ugly and that you don't even keep the house tidy. You don't contribute anything. You don't balance out all the great things I do and you don't deserve me. What? You can't possibly mean that. That's why you should be thankful that you're married to someone as amazing as me. Honestly, you should be grateful that I put up with you. Look, I don't know what's gone into you right now, but it doesn't matter. Please, just let me rest this weekend. I was patient and tolerated all the nonsense during the week. I at least deserve a peaceful weekend. You know, the only reason I'm still married to you is because you make good money. But honestly, if you were a housewife, you would suck at it. You're the worst. You could learn a thing or two from mom. Don't you think? You really need to learn how to respect your husband. What? Why are you saying all these things? I don't understand what you're trying to say. Talking to you right now is pointless. I'll talk to you later. Fine. I'll just come home and make something decent for myself. So, you finally made up your mind. I know this was a tough decision for you, and you struggled a lot with it. But finally, I can teach you how to have the right frame of mind and attitude as a proper housewife. You know, how to cook, clean, and take care of your husband. Wait, hold on a second, Mom. What in the world are you talking about? Huh? What do you mean? I heard from Brayden that you finally agreed that we should all live together under one roof. What? Us living together? What in God's name are you talking about? This is the first time I'm hearing about us living together. What? Are you serious? Oh, I guess we aren't on the same page then, are we? Huh? Brayden told me that you finally saw the light and accepted our offer to live together. So I thought you finally came to your senses and realized that it would be better for us to live together. So you honestly aren't planning on living together with us? You being alone and by yourself is so pointless. It would be so much better with the three of us together. We could be a happy family. 
It looks like you and Brayden are just talking amongst yourselves and not even including me. But even if that was the case, this is something Brayden should have spoken to me about. I am his wife. I haven't heard anything about this, so I'm going to ask Brayden myself just what exactly is going on. I think it's pointless for you to ask him, but go ahead. And why do you say that? Because my Brayden would never lie to his mother. There is no way. He said he's preparing for us to live together. He's doing everything for me. He's looking for a bigger house, he's saving up money, he's making plans. There is no way he'd lie to me about that. That's why if you aren't going to be living with us, my Brayden will have to end his relationship with you. Well, is that so? You're right. He wouldn't lie to you. Not your Brayden. Well, do you know about Brayden's job right now? What are you talking about? I am his mother. So absolutely I do. I know everything about him. Obviously, I would know something as important as his job. He's been working for a major corporation and worked his way up to a managerial position. That's why he's able to come home earlier than you every day. He has a flexible schedule and a good salary. But you, you're nothing like him. You have no skill and work so slowly. You have to work until late every night. You barely make enough money to pay the bills. Are you sure about that? So that's the story Brayden decided on telling you. Listen, Brayden is my dear son. I know him better than anyone. He would never lie to me or hide anything from me. Oh, I understand. Well, I'm just going to talk to Brayden myself and get to the bottom of this. Thank you for reaching out to me and letting me know what's going on in your mind. Brayden, where are you right now? Why aren't you at home? Huh? You mean you're home right now? Sorry, it's just that... That is so surprising. It's not too common for you to come home like this. You usually work late every night. What's going on? I had an awful feeling in the pit of my stomach, so I decided to come home. Where is my bank book? Whoa, that's wild. What? Do you have a sixth sense or something? Did you sense that something was wrong? Enough. Answer my questions. Where are you right now, and where is my bank book? Funny story, actually. I just bought a high-rise apartment building with it. <laughs> Brayden, what are you talking about? You just took it upon yourself to take my money without me knowing? How did you even get access to it? Did you steal my password or something? Yeah, and so what if I did? I'm going to live with my mommy. What? That money was my life savings. I worked my fingers to the bone for 10 years for that. And you think you can just use it however you please? You didn't even ask me or tell me anything. You just took it and spent it all? Yup, that's right. I absolutely can. I've been looking for quite a while, and I finally found it. I racked my brain, wondering where you were hiding it. I knew you were hiding money, but to hide such a large amount, I was impressed. So I took it for my mommy. I decided to use it and purchase a huge apartment for her. What do you mean? This is my money. Don't you think you're getting a little carried away just doing anything you want with it? It's mine. You have no right to use it without my consent. It's not yours to spend. No, it doesn't matter anyway. You already left anyway. Wh what do you mean by that? You have no use for the money. The least you can do is just give it to me. I have no more use for you. And now I'm going to live with my mom in the apartment that I bought with all of your savings. You are the worst! You took my money and have no use for me anymore. So are you just trying to drive me away? Is this your way of breaking up with me? By stealing from me and running away with your mom? Yup, I guess that's exactly what I'm saying. You have nothing to offer. Haven't you thought before that just being at home alone for so long is just a huge waste of time? You don't cook, you don't clean, you don't take care of me. You're useless as a wife. You always immerse in your job, but you don't know that your primary duty is taking care of your husband, which is me. What did you just say? Seriously, you're such an incompetent wife. Why did I even bother marrying a woman as useless as you? There are plenty of wives that can balance work and take care of the household chores just fine. Why can't you do anything right? Sure, there are plenty of outstanding wives that are balancing working, raising kids, taking care of the household, etc. But it still doesn't mean that they're not stressed and overworked. I'm 100% certain that everyone is completely overwhelmed like I am. 
Moreover, I'm drowned in work because of you, an incompetent husband. You watch your mouth. How can you even be so certain and say this on behalf of everyone anyways? Don't try to justify your excuses with your over-exaggerations. You're the type that can't multitask or do any type of work well. Rather than choosing to self-reflect and improve yourself, you choose to throw a tantrum. <laughs> Seriously, what's wrong with you? Shut up. Don't you dare talk back to me. Seriously, the way this world works isn't fair. <sighs> People like you truly irritate me to the very core of my being. Fine. You'll get exactly what you ask for. You can just leave this house. And you know what? Let's get a divorce. How does that sound? That's exactly what I was going to say. Haven't you been listening to what I said? I used your life savings to buy an apartment to live with my mom together. I have no more use for you at all. Let's hurry up and just get a divorce already. I don't want to see your face ever again. Understood and agreed. Goodbye, Brayden. Goodbye, you pig. Please don't ever think about contacting me again. And I'm changing the locks to this house. So don't even think about coming back. So after moving, I hope you have fun living with your mommy who you love oh so much. And don't expect any alimony from me either. You'll regret what you did to me, Brayden. Stella, can you talk right now? I want to call you. Absolutely not. I don't feel like talking to you. I have nothing to say to you. Why do you want to call me anyway? Have you sent the divorce papers yet? What's taking so long? Hurry up and send them to me already. Don't you want to get rid of me as soon as possible? Or are you having second thoughts? Forget about the divorce papers. I wanted to ask you about my money. Your money? What do you mean by your money? You know what I mean. Why can't I use the bank book anymore? Why can't I withdraw money anymore? I can't pay the rent for the apartment. So? That's not my problem. I don't know anything about your money. Not like you have any anyway. You spent it all on gambling and your mommy, remember? You're broke and pathetic. But I still had the bank book. There should still have been money in the account. But when I went to the bookkeeping, there was no money left. Why is that? What happened? Don't you think that's a little weird? Do I think it's weird? You just did whatever you wanted and stole my bank book after all. That here is a crime, isn't it? You're lucky I don't report you for that. Anyway, I was able to do my banking online. I transferred all my money into another account. Every dollar. What? You transferred the money? All of it? Yep, sure did. Thank goodness I was able to transfer it all over before you were able to use any of it. A sleazy mama's boy like you being able to use my hard-earned money? Just the mere thought of that made me sick to my stomach. You don't deserve a single cent of my money. You're a thief and a liar. Wait a second. I didn't hear anything about that. You didn't tell me anything. So, I can't use any of the money anymore? Is that what you're telling me? The bank book is mine, isn't it? What are you saying? Have you gone mad? That bank book is mine and you know it. I knew you'd just do whatever you wanted with my money and try using it, so I moved everything over to a separate bank account. You were babbling on and on about how you bought a huge apartment, but it looks like the payment hadn't gone through yet. Thank goodness. No, that can't be right. I checked the bank book. The money's still in your account. All I needed was a stamp, which I was going to get later on. I just borrowed the money from the down payment for the apartment. Oh, you just borrowed it? After I withdrew the money, I thought it wouldn't be a problem if I just return it back. I don't understand what the problem is. I explained it to you before, didn't I? How dumb do you think I am? I knew you stole my bank book. Because of that, I transferred the money into a different account. Since I knew the bank book couldn't be used anymore to withdraw the money, I just left it in a place where even you would find it. It's funny you borrowed money for the apartment and you think you'll be able to pay it back. Hilarious. Don't worry, since you desperately want to be with your mother, I'm sure you can get used to living somewhere else with her. What do you mean you set me up? You are the worst. What? Set you up? Where did that come from? You knew I would be embarrassed at the bank. It was your plan all along to ruin my reputation. You went as far as to leave the bank book out in plain sight, knowing very well I would find it. 
for you to have gone through all that trouble just to set me up? You really are the worst. And what do you want me to say? I didn't plan on setting you up for anything like that at all. We're getting a divorce, right? That means I don't need to have a bank account connected with your name anymore. I don't care about your reputation or your feelings because you never cared about mine. But what about the money? Answer my question about the money. I have to have some money. I don't even have pocket change right now. The apartment won't give back the money I use for the down payment either. What am I supposed to do? How should I know? It's not my problem, is it? Why did you think it was right to use my hard-earned money for the apartment anyway? You're nuts if you think there isn't anything wrong with doing something like that. You're selfish and irresponsible. You don't think about the consequences of your actions. But I did it for mommy. That's your problem. You're a creepy little mama's boy. What? What did you just say to me? What do you mean I'm a mama's boy? How am I a mama's boy? You really don't see it? You're so clueless. You really are the worst. Let me tell you, is it normal for a man approaching 40 to refer to his own mother as mommy, right? For your important mom, you went as far as to steal your own wife's life savings. What in the world were you thinking? Just to think there were so many things you didn't even tell your mom. What? What are you trying to say? I tell mommy everything. Absolutely everything. There isn't anything she doesn't know. Oh, is that so? What about being employed by a giant corporation? That's quite the lie you made up. Well, that. Well, there was a reason for that. It doesn't matter what the reason was. You lied. The fact is, you're just a temp worker at a company, and you have more free time than you know what to do with. All the money you do scrape up, you blow on gambling. Or you have to use my money. With my money, I thought you would be able to build some sort of life for yourself. But why couldn't you be honest and tell your mother the truth? You don't have to say it like that. I'm not a loser. I'm not that bad of a person. And you're exaggerating and twisting the facts. Oh no. I actually think I painted a pretty accurate picture of who you really are. You should be able to easily see for yourself what a loser you are. That's not true. My mommy would never say those things to me. How horrible. My mommy would accept me no matter what. She loves me unconditionally. Well, mothers will be mothers, I guess. But it's all just obviously a bunch of lies. You forget you even feed yourself with my money. And yet all you did was look down on me and treat me like I was a slave. I am not your punching bag. Not anymore. That isn't how I planned for things to be at all. Honest. I didn't mean to hurt you or take advantage of you. I just wanted to make my mommy happy. You can enjoy your life living with your mommy just like you wanted. I don't have anything more to say to you. I have nothing more to give you. Just hurry up and get the divorce papers sent to me. Has the lawyer sent them yet? Don't waste any more of my time or energy. Just get out of my life. What? What do you mean, a lawyer? That's right. I'm also demanding consolation money due to the fact that you are financially abusing me and exploiting me during our marriage. Lawyers' fees are high as it is. That's just going to increase their fee. You'll have to face the consequences of your actions. But what about me? What do I do about the apartment money? I'm not giving you any more money. You can forget it. If you don't want to deal with lawyers' fees and the money for the damages, then it's time to act like an adult for once and take responsibility for your own actions. You made your bed, now lie in it. You can't expect me to bail you out of your mess. But what about the money for the apartment? What do I do? Canceling the contract will cost so much money as it is. You have to do something for me. Please help me out. We are husband and wife, aren't we? Aren't we a happy couple? You're delusional if you think we're still a couple or that we were ever happy. And you have no more use for me and want a divorce. Those were your words, weren't they? Unfortunately for you, the one who has no more use for the other is me. You're nothing to me now. Just a bad memory that I want to erase. Do not contact me or try to see me again. I want nothing more to do with you. I am done with you and your mom, loser mama's boy, and the same goes for your mother as well. After that, I completely ignored Brayden. Brayden had no choice but to face the reality of his situation. He had lost everything he ever wanted. His money, his apartment, his wife. He tried to reach out to me one last time, hoping I would have a change of heart and forgive him. He called me, texted me, emailed me, but I never responded. I had him blocked from every possible channel of communication. 
In the end, Raiden came clean and told his mother about everything. He fell to his knees and begged his mom to loan him money. His mother, of course, understood and accepted Brayden. However, she was broke too, penniless and broke. Brayden and his mom were completely burdened with the money they borrowed. With no options, they both worked together from sun up to sun down. They took any job they could find, no matter how low paying or demeaning it was. They worked as cleaners, waiters, delivery drivers, factory workers, etc. They're currently living together in a beat up, run down apartment. For myself, I had moved on with my life and found someone new. Someone who respected me and treated me well. Someone who was not a mama's boy or a liar.